Hey guys, what's up? So this is continuation of pattern program and we are going to learn one more pattern in this uh, session, right? So before uh, starting with the coding part, uh, you guys can read about me and I have my Facebook page so you guys can ask me questions on my Facebook page or you can mail me to this my Gmail address or you have my uh, YouTube channel where you have very good uh, playlist you guys can go through my playlist and the github locations where you guys can get all the source code right now let me start with the coding part where we need to print this kind of pattern so it's like when you have i is equal to 7 right so let's say i'm just assuming that i so when i7 we want data 7654321 when i become 6 we want data 7654322 when i becomes 5 we want 7354.3 when 4 we want 7654 when 3 we want 765 76 and 7 if you look at this pattern what i can see that from this right hand side one by one data is getting removed or from right hand side we, when we are printing the next line this is one line this is second line this is third line this is fourth line and this is fifth line for every line if you look at we are decreasing one one number we are actually not decreasing removing one one number so when i6 we are not printing one when i5 we are not printing two one when i4 we are not printing three to one so how do we write a logic for that right so what i will do i will make the object of a scanner class because i want input data from my keyword so as we know that we can make the object of a scanner class and when we write system.in which means we can read the data from your keyword and make a reference of this object so we are creating one reference of this object let's say scanner now this guy this scanner class has a method called next int right it has a method called next int which will read your integer data from the keyword and let's say if I'll write here let's say number so I will store into a variable called number variable just place mouse over here click on create local variable this number got created now we need to write a loop right so that we can iterate over so when we write a loop we'll say int i is equal to 1 i less than is equal to number so why less than is equal to number why because we have to start i from 1 because if you look at the output it says that 1 2 3 4 it is not saying that 0 1 2 right so we should start from 1 when we are starting from 1 it should be always less than is equal to why because when you will not keep equal to your loop will run only six times right so when you say n is equal to 7 your loop will not run for 7 times it will run only for 6 times why because we are keeping that less than so the moment i will i become 6 your conditions this after when the i becomes 7 these conditions will not holds good and it will come out of for loop so here we will do i plus plus right now if i try to print any print statement by using this for condition you cannot print output like this we cannot so what we need to do we need to make one more for loop and this for loop should direct the internal for loop it should direct based on that we should get outcome so let's say we have one more for loop here i will write int j is equal to so how we want to print when i say when i say i is equal to one i want output 7654321 this is my first line when i say i is equal to 2 i want output like this when i say i is equal to 3 i want output like this when i say i is equal to 4 i want output like this so here i will start j is equal to number if j greater than is equal to i right greater than is equal to i i am putting the conditions greater than is equal to i because when i is equal to 1 it should print this many times when i becomes 2 right 
it should print this many times right so that i'm starting j is equal to number if j less than is equal to i and then we know what i will do i'll do j minus minus right so automatically when i becomes 2 here this j will continue till 6 when i 3 j will continue till 5 when i 4 j will continue till 3 right now what we want how we want to print the output we want to print the output j so let's let's go into the logic start i is equal to 1 i less than number number is equal to let's say 7 assume that 7 so yes it will go inside now j is equal to number j will start from 7 if 7 less than is equal to i i is equal to 1 yes j minus minus and then print so j becomes 7 here and this guy is a post increment right so first this uh, this line will get executed and then j becomes 6 now then j is equal to 6 6 greater than is equal to 1 yes go inside then it will print 6 then again this becomes 5 if 5 is equal 5 j is equal to 5 5 greater than is equal to 1 yes go inside then it will it will print 5 then again becomes 4 j j less than is equal to 4 j minus minus print 4 then 3 then 2 and then 1 it will get printed like this when i is equal to 1 the moment i becomes 2 this loop will run you know it will start from 7 and it will run only till 2 why because when we say let's say instead of i let's say i'm just hard coding it if i'll say 2 so it will not run for the last number because we are doing j minus minus so it will go only till 2 after 2 it will not go for 1 so 1 will not get printed here again when j here be i becomes 3 so for this line when 3 it will print only till 3 2 1 will not get executed when here i becomes 4 it will get printed only till 4 3 2 1 will not get printed that is the reason we are keeping here i now should we write here ln we should not write that why you should not write that let me uh, let me do one thing let me execute the program you guys will understand better here you write enter input data now let's say run this program so when we run this program it will ask you input data let's say say 9 look at the output you are getting output like this 9876543321 and then again you know a 9876543 2 it is working fine code is working but you are not getting this kind of pattern why because we are writing new line here now when we don't want new line here which means assume that you are printing you are already printed till here after this first line you want a new line right which means after the internal for loop you want a new line this line is nothing but it is getting printed by internal for loop so we need to write one new line here why because after every execution of your internal for loop the moment we are going for the external for loop we need to have the new line because again when the i data will change we want a new line so we can keep the new line outside the internal for loop now let me run this logic and if you look at so let's say when i say 9 your output is coming fine there is no problem at all but there is no space to give the space put a plus symbol here and just put a space so when you write like this we are concatenating with the space after every digit you will have very proper space and you guys can see that the nice report is getting printed here and that's how you can write a logic to print the data in the reverse order right so you guys hope i hope that you guys understood if you did not understand this program copy the same program in your eclipse okay and go line by line you will understand because what you need to focus here you need to focus here why i started j is equal to number why because i want to print from the end that is the reason i'm printing from the end and then i want to go down from end to go down right and that decision where i'm taking i'm taking the decision here i will decide till how many numbers down i want to go when i say i is equal to 2 i want to go only number 2 till down 2 i don't want to print 1 when i say i 3 i want to go only till number 3 when i say i 4 i want to go down only 4 
because here I have greater than is equal to. When I say 5, I want to go only down 5. When I become 6, I want to go down only 6. When I become 7, I don't want to go any down. I want to print only 7. That's what the logic is all about. I hope you guys understood and I hope you guys will be able to write this program in the interview. If now somebody will ask you the same logic right for the star, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. What you guys can do is just put a star. When we put a star, we can see that the same logic will work and we will get a star output. Right? A star is getting printed. So that's how either it is a star, it is a dollar or something else your logic will work. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching this. Hope you guys will like this video. Please like my button and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you once again guys.